guys, uh, Masha is here and I'm here to talk a little bit about um, one of my favorite tools for wet uh, felting, uh, sander. Sander uh, is a great help for us to, uh, on one of the first steps of uh, wet felting, to agitate and bond uh, wool, which we lay, which we wet, uh, which we decorate, and this will be our next step. So Sandra will not felt the project, it will not the finish the job, but it will help on the first step, we'll take the main layer, the first layer, if it's too thick, probably it will not get inside, but uh, pretty much uh, most of my projects uh, were made with the help of that machine. This machine, I use Makita, Amazon, $60, free delivery with Prime. It's, uh, it's really uh, one of the best things I had for uh, felting. I figured out that some people um, kind of are hesitant about it, and I'm not sure why. So um, maybe it's noise, maybe uh, the vibration, uh, I don't know, but I want to prove that it's, uh, it's really worth it. Here I um, have a few projects on my uh, table and I'm going for you, uh, to show you how I would use uh, my sander uh, to felt different types of project. We're talking about different thickness, maybe different decor, because there are of course little, little tricks. But again, it's my tricks. Maybe you can come up with your own or somebody else can tell you something else, but this is what I want to share with you. Uh, also, I'll tell you how to prepare this sander. So I don't need the bag, which collect dust because I'm actually not sanding. I take this thing away and instead of a sandpaper, I would put some piece of plastic with some kind of bumps. So here's a, 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 our regular uh, bubble wrap. The only thing I will just uh, play a little bit and <laughs> get rid of the bubbles here because I actually don't want it to be too bumpy. And then I just will attach it. There's like a system how you attach the sandpaper. So the same way I will attach um, my bubble wrap. Um, of course, sander is not made to use on wet surface. So and sometimes even like tiny mm, splash of water can damage the um, electrical part or I don't know, get inside the engine, it will be very loud and can break. I tried all kind of stuff. I was wrapping into plastic bags and then I decided that the easiest thing to avoid that would be just to use a very fine plastic bag, it's like one of the uh, garbage bags, liner, and just put it on top. It doesn't really do much as far as it doesn't prevent the wool to felt with the sander, agitating with sander, but it just really keeps the water there, you know. And um, it's easy, and also it doesn't attach you, like if you take it away, it will go easily. This is actually pretty much everything you need. If it gets wet, okay, then of course you need to wipe it and let it dry and like on the sun or something like so, let the water evaporate. Um, also, how long and how actually to place the sander on your project, it depends on the project. So here's I'm making a pair of slippers. Actually, it's one slip, <laughs> just two layered. I'll be teaching the webinar about how I make my own slippers. It's my own thing. I came up with the whole um, idea. So you keep watching, keep, keep subscribing, and like as I'll, I'll announce something later. Anyway, uh, this is a pretty thick wool. So for me, it would be I would just press 
and I will not step on the edge because I don't want really the very edge to mm, turn into like a seam which I have to flat later. I will do that but with my hands. But here I will just press and I uh, will hold maybe counting to 10 in my head and then I'll make a little step and I hold again and I'll count to 10 in my head and direction doesn't really matter because this wool is uh, carded, it doesn't have any direction and I don't really care. I just want the whole surface to be mm, vibrated on, agitated, you know, to let the hair catch each other. This will be a decor for uh, that slipper. So it's from Mirina, it's from fine wool with a little bit of a viscose on top. So I will go around, I will hold it like this, wait until seven, then pull it up uh, and move it like here. And don't, don't forget, I use the plastic bag. I will use the plastic bag on top of that, okay? So I have a couple more projects. I prepared you a couple samples, which I, because just I want you to see. So this is uh, yarn, hand spun yarn, like wool yarn, which can be decorated. Uh, like a decor for a scarf or a bag or pillowcase or whatever you want. So here I'm stepping this way because I know that my center moves like that and I don't want the yarn to move because I want it to be aligned and parallel. So I will do it like that and I will move it. Next step will be like that, so I'm watching, so I'm not stepping, the yarn is always under the center, it doesn't get on the edge, so it doesn't move. So my whole goal is that to prevent the yarn from moving, you know, and keep it parallel. So, and for example, this other one is, uh, whatever it will be, I mean, it's just a sample for now, but eventually I can use it, it's wool, then it's like, thick heavy pieces of um, prefelt and a piece of silk on top but it can be anything it could be wool naps or locks and it can be a lot and I'm looking for lots of texture here so sometimes I, I put a plastic on top and you know sometimes I will even use a towel so I know that it's agitated, that it's moving, but I just don't move my uh, fiber or my anything, any decor I'm using for it. I'm just going like this with pressing and holding and counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then make a step. Usually when I step, I overlap doesn't matter what size, but I just want to be sure that all surface is covered, okay? So, also, uh, of course, we understand that um, there are a couple of things about sender which would be nice to avoid. First of all, it's, I mean, you can't avoid electricity, <laughs> it's electricity, <laughs> using electricity. But the noise, uh, it's noisy, it's, it's noisy. So be sure that uh, people in your house don't mind when you use it. I always say, hey guys, sorry, five minutes of noise. <laughs> or if you have neighbors, if you live in that apartment, then be sure that uh, you're doing it when people are not sleeping. And even for yourself, I play music, so I like to take care of my ears. So I have that ear muffs, which like a uh, noise reduction. Again, I found it first in my husband's garage, but among his tools, but I got my own. And pretty much, very good. And another thing that, especially when I walk on the heavy, like thick wool and I need to press, I don't know, this thing vibrates and I'm, I never know if it's good for my joints. Maybe it's not a big deal, maybe it even helps with circulation, I don't know. But um, I came up with this idea, I use uh, weights. 
this is like from the sports store. It's like when people act for the exercise and actually has some Velcro you can attach it. But two of them, this sender in this way will move nowhere. I don't even have to touch it. I'll just count to 10 and then I just move it a little bit and I stand and count to 10 and I'm just whatever thinking my thoughts or watching my birds outside then it's really not so hot. Anyway, what else? Keep it clean. Uh, let it dry if it gets wet. Unplug it when you leave your room, just in case. And um, enjoy your crafting. It's a, it's a great tool. I have no idea who came up with it, but I think that uh, it's a great invention and it's a great help for us. So don't hesitate and call me or email me or put your comments. Ask me any questions if, um, and I will probably leave a link with a brand, the one I have, which I'm pretty happy with. So it just cannot be round, of course. It just have to be go this way. And more surface I have, it's really more helpful. I saw people even attached a bigger piece of, I don't know, they glue it on, a bigger piece of cardboard or something just to make the whole surface move. But I have another one. <laughs> so in case I have really big surface, I should use two of them. Uh, also, um, I want to say that in some small areas it can go on the angle or even if I put like my locks or something like around, I don't know, something I can use it that way and or if I have layers of something, I can use it this way. So it's, I mean, play with it. it has lots of, lots of uh, uh, ways and it's, it's, it's help. It helps, I mean, it and... Uh, uh, hands are good. This is our main main tool. Everything we do, it's handmade, and absolutely. And, but uh, why not to use uh, you know, some little invention, right? Like somebody came with. Okay, it was great to uh, see you, or <laughs> talk to you, and uh, please subscribe. Please leave some comments and uh, let me know what else you want to talk about. Because uh, small things matter. I, it takes years to find like some of your own tricks and I'm very happy to share. But I always will be teaching so like you keep watching and uh, keep subscribing. Okay, thank you. Have a great week. And thank you.